Alrighty, good morning. Um, we've got a job to do. Uh, he's leaking, so I've got the um, seal kit. Um, hopefully, it won't be too much of a drama uh, getting this cap off. But you can see it's she's not healthy, so um, I don't even think I really need to get the piston out. Uh, it may just be a case of these seals, these wiper seals being had it. Um, we'll check it out when we get it out anyway. So, um, alright, let's see what we can't achieve. Sorry about the wind. Okay, when you uh, do this, remove a ram, compress it right up, it gets all the fluid out of it and makes life a lot easier. So, um, you need to take these pins out, top and bottom, and then the whole ram will just fall out. Okay, let's do that. leaking and um, in a bucket and that'll take a bit of pressure off this pin pin has 800 hours on it closer to nine there's a tiny little bit of wear there other than that she's brand new it's important of greasing your machines people that's quite a heavy unit give this a bit of a clean up and we'll bring you back right so uh, we're going to get this end cap off um, there's still going to be a lot of fluid in this so I'm going to need a lot of rags um, there's a little pivot turn the light on hey there's a little divot in here uh, where it's been punched out to uh, I think to stop this from turning like a lock ring I guess um, so more or less it's just a matter of punching that in and then screwing this cap off I may need to uh, fabricate a tool to get this off um, possibly I've got some big channel locks we'll see how we go with that
go and get a bucket because it's going to pour out of there. Okay. I think these seals are actually pretty good. Um, I'm going to replace them anyway, along with that guy. Um, I mean, while you're in here, you may as well, you know. So, looks like this end comes off much like the uh, pistons. It's just got a lock, locking uh, ring, and it should just slide right off I'm trying to find the best angle for you guys to keep an eye on this stuff Oops. So I ended up with a new hole in my hand oh man there was some tension on there let's go the other way probably screws off that's more or less probably just a uh, locking mechanism So there's O-rings, there's O-rings in there, uh, and I'm pretty sure they're the ones that are going to be leaking. Uh, we might find some damage, actually I think I can see some damage in there already. Um, there is a bit of dirt and grit and shit in there, so that's more or less our cause. But while we're here, I mean it's only an O-ring in there and these outside ones, so might as well change your mind. So. All right, let's see if the uh, kit looks the same.
certainly looks okay to me. Alrighty. I think we might move over to the uh, vice on this. Might be a bit easier. Bring you back. Okay. So as we pull these off we'll be matching them. This one might be a challenge. Certainly comes off easy enough. O-ring in there as well. Come to Papa. Ah, come on. Tight man, like a tiger. This is 
gonna be fun. Assume that that will shrink back down. Okay, that's that. Uh, I think this one is going to be the fun. There's a lot of eye rings on this guy. That's the outside. I don't know where my big screwdrivers are. You see the crap that's coming out of this? That's actually rubber. So the seal has been compromised somewhere. Yeah, see all that? That's rubber and dirt and shit and crap and other stuff. They've actually center punched that to um, get it in to make sure that seal stays in. So we'll just try and punch those back out.
Look, I bought one, mate. That seal has gone very hard, um, which you'd think in only 900 hours it probably shouldn't. In the bin. So yeah, that was a whole lot of fun. There is a special tool for the seal. I don't have one. And what it does is it does that. Okay. Oops. Man, that was really fun. Okay. I do believe that that is the seal that actually wore out. It doesn't look bad. Got a little bit of scoring on it, but ah, uh, yeah. Quite a bit of scoring, I don't know if you can see it. Scoring through here. Might be an idea to check that ram. Could have some chunks on it. Okay.
nice and even, that's good. Assembly lube. Definitely feels tied up. This shaft's pretty good, there's no sort of uh, major very tiny pit there. seal actually only comes to here anyway so that's all outside the fact There's nothing more there okay just realized you probably didn't see me put that on <laughs> Make sure there's no sort of paint chips in the o-ring. <laughs> right back to where she was. All right, that's cool. Um, go and get that back on the machine. We'll have that fight in private, and uh, we'll have a look when she's all filled up. All right, it's all back together. Easy. That went on a lot easier than I thought, actually. Um, now it seems to be good. It's um, it's got a little bit of drop down this way, and also when the bucket's curled back up, it's, it's dropping just a bit. So I uh, don't know. Um, I'll have to. It's certainly not leaking anywhere. It's not leaking on the ram um, anymore, which is the main thing. Um, it seems it might be leaking, leaking on that piston so um, you know the old adage if it ain't broke don't fix it so I don't know maybe those seals need to swell uh, a, a touch 
So I'll leave, see how we go. I'm just going to leave it sit, sat in the air like this. But um, thanks for watching. Um, hope that was informative. If it wasn't, well, pff, on to the next video. Get back to work.